Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here, coming at you with the very first vid of 2020, and it's crazy to think we're in a brand new decade. That's kind of different. Happens only every 10 years, but we are on the way to CES, Consumer Electronics Show, in a couple days, and I thought it would be a great vid to not only kick off the year by showcasing all of the tech that I'm taking, but of course, my tech travel pack. I update these all the time. We've got a few new upgrades going into the new year. Let's start off first with the packs, and we actually have two to showcase. This guy is from Peak Design, and they just recently upgraded their everyday line, so this is the V2 version. Every single YouTuber I know has this exact backpack, or I guess the OG one. It's the one with the classic latch. It's got all of the camera compartment slots, but this guy is called the Zip, and I like it because it's a bit more compact, as the name kind of implies. It zips up all the way. So you kind of lose the latch at the front, but I actually prefer that because I'm always scared that this thing will get undone and the expensive contents of my camera bag will kind of go missing. I roll with the 30 liter. I find it's a bit more compact and just like all of Peak Design stuff, it's really tailored to photographers, camera users as it has those individual slots for all of your gear. And I know Peak Design stuff is on the pricier end, so my second recommendation is this Air SF pack. This is also their Fit Pack, and if you don't know me yet, this is the first time you're watching any of my videos. I have a very unhealthy relationship with the color orange, so obviously this was a no-brainer. It's got that front-loading zipper to access all of your gear. Laptop sleeve in the back, minimal to no branding, made out of ballistic nylon, so it's almost indestructible. Either of these packs, I think, are go-to essentials for anyone. And you kind of caught a glimpse of what's on the insides, as of course I make YouTube vids, I take a ton of photos, my camera is probably my most used piece of kit. You know, I'm a pretty big Sony fanboy, I do love the form factor, you get a full frame camera in this small body size. Yes, I think Canon has better color science, perhaps better autofocus. Other YouTubers record with reds, and you know what? All the props to them. I think they create great content, but my kind of rule is if it doesn't fit into my pack, if I can't hold it out in front of me to vlog, it's too heavy or it's just too big. The glass that I've got is kind of cream of the crop. We've got the G Master lineup, so I've got the 16 to 35, as well as the 24 to 70. So if I'm rocking both of these, I kind of cover all my ranges, especially when I'm at CES. They're heavy, expensive, but if you are shooting Sony, they are the best pieces of glass you can buy. Invest into quality glass, they will last you a lifetime. All of the content that I end up shooting makes its way onto my laptop. So of course, my mobile workstation, the beast of the channel that travels with me everywhere, 16 inch MacBook Pro. I didn't go for the max spec, but I did ball out a bit on my RAM. I did snag 64 gigs. It of course handles everything totally fine. I do shoot in 4K, no reds like I mentioned, no 8K. So everything on this device is kind of my mobile workstation and of course beast. My alternate PC option has been the HP Spectre, 13 inch form factor, it's way smaller, of course lighter than the 16 inch MacBook Pro, kind of has multi-purpose fold into a tablet so I can use it like that. Watch a lot of content, YouTube in tent mode, but this is the guy that I kind of bring with me to all my meetings, this is the guy that I use to bang out most of my emails. Lightweight, gorgeous build, and yeah, that's kind of my go-to laptop choices. And I think the most important thing actually in my pack, I teased this over on Insta. I'm not too sure if you know what this is. My goal in 2020, New Year's resolution, has been to hydrate. <sighs> Iron Man water bottle in orange, so obviously I had to grab it. I actually picked this up for myself for Christmas. I do try to stay hydrated. It's tough, but um, there's that orange addiction kicking up again. <laughs> With either of these laptops, I paired them both to the Logitech MX Master. This guy always lives in my pack as I am editing a ton. For peeps in the mouse game, you know how good this guy is. You can have three different presets, so I've got one set to my MacBook Pro, two set to, of course, my Spectre. If you're on your computer for longer than an hour, get away from the trackpad life, get back to the mouse. Your hand will love you for it. So phones, I'm currently only rocking one as my daily as I am waiting for the next Samsung S11. We're hoping for around February, but it is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. For cases, I do have this one from Dbrid. What I think is dope, the back is actually a skin, so you can swap that out to whatever you want. Obviously, orange carbon, no surprises. And of course, with Dbrand, you can just rock the skin solo on the phone. For your laptop, any other device, they've got you covered. At CES though, or on heavier days, I do rock Apple's battery case. It makes the phone so, so thick, 
She's now got a thick peach, but that does give it extra battery and this easily now lasts you two, two and a half days without a charge. It's dope, especially if you're a power user, you might need that extra hump in the trunk. Two headphones, two options, one over the ear and one in ear. For my cans, I do have the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. The Mark IV should be coming out pretty soon because these came out, I believe, last February. So stay tuned, we might actually see them at CES. And for my in-ears, I'm rocking my AirPod Pros. Last little bits of accessories that do end up living in my pack. So the first is a V-charged USB hub. It's got four USB ports, so I usually have two lightning cables and one USB-C. I have successfully migrated all my accessories or all of my tech stuff from micro USB. I'm super proud of that. Wallet, card holder, people still give out a ton of actual physical cards at CS, so they end up fitting into this guy. Sunglasses, cause heck, this is kind of a lifestyle video as well. I do rock Serengetis. I know that so many of you ask which model sunglasses that I have. And last but not least, of course, a handy notebook to jot down all sorts of notes or ideas. I kind of like that. It's just different and keeps me off my phone, which is also one of my New Year's resolutions. Anyways, that has been my tech travel pack for 2020. That is all my essentials, all of my gear. I hope some of you guys found tips and tricks. If you have any other suggestions, you know where to leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid as it was the first one of 2020. Stay hydrated and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next ones or one of my vlogs. Peace.